Happy Friday, students. It is Friday, October the 5th. And as you remember, as I told you yesterday, I am not going to be there with you today. So the purpose of this first video is to give you a few reminders and expectations for the day. First and foremost, I expect you to be on your very best behavior for the substitute. That means that you are not to talk to anyone, ask questions, or leave your seat unless you have raised your hand first. There really shouldn't be any reason for you to leave your seat. But if you do need to get out of your seat for any reason, make sure that you raise your hand and ask permission first. The substitute may not know our hand signals. So if you'll just raise your hand, she will come to you. I have told the substitute to leave me any names of those students who do not complete their work, who are uncooperative or who misbehave. And those students will receive consequences when I return on Monday. You should already have a pair of earbuds because you are listening to this video, which means if you borrowed my earbuds, your ID should already be in one of those pockets in the back of the room. Make sure that at the end of the period, when you are finished with your earbuds, that you return my earbuds and get your ID back. I have counted the number of earbuds that are in the pocket. And when I return, I expect there to be the same number of earbuds as there were when um, I left. So if I return and there are missing earbuds, then it is a great possibility that those will not be avail available to you in the future. Thirdly, when you leave at the end of class, I need you to make sure your area is neat and clean. That means there should be no trash on the floor and it should look like it does each day when I dismiss you. All of your assignments today are in Google Classroom. Make sure that you follow those in order as they appear and make sure you are reading carefully so that you will not leave any assignments out. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you Google Classroom and we're going to go through what you're going to be doing today while I'm not there. In your Google Classroom, you should see a list of assignments for Friday, October the 5th, and I have reminded you to complete them in order. The first thing that you're going to do, and that is what you're doing now, is you are watching this introductory video, and that's going to tell you um, about your expectations. As soon as we finish this video, you're going to complete core bite number 27, and the video link will be below. When you finish today's core bite, you're going to keep the core bite sheet because we will do our last core bite on that sheet on Monday. Now, yesterday in math workshop, one of the assignments that you did was that fraction finder worksheet. If you did not finish it and you did not finish it at home, you may take just a few moments to finish that now, but I want you to pay close attention to this. Finish the work only. At this point, I don't want you to worry about the coloring. So if you did not finish the Fraction Finder worksheet from yesterday's math workshop, I want you to take about five, no more than 10 minutes after you do your core bite to finish the work part only, then turn it into the work drop area. So. After this video, complete core bite, finish up the fraction finder and turn it in, but do not spend too much time on that because the last thing that you're going to do today is you're going to complete that dividing hyperdoc. You will find your own copy of this in your Google Classroom and you're going to complete it and then turn it in through the Google Classroom when you are finished. So I went through this yesterday, but I want to remind you of a couple of things about your HyperDoc. Remember, you're going to go in order, always follow in order, read everything carefully, and make sure that you complete each task. Right here, I want to point out, when you are watching these two videos, you need to use your notebook pages, your interactive notebook, and write down examples and solve them as you are watching the videos. I would pause the videos at different times, write down the problem, and then go through the work. Because this is where you're going to learn 
how to divide with fractions and mixed numbers. After you watch the two videos, make sure you type in your answer to this two-part question. Then you're going to apply what you've learned. Make sure that you click on both of these links and you're only going to play one round and at the end of each round it will give you a score. You're going to take a screenshot of your score and then you're going to paste your screenshots here. So in this box you should have two screenshots posted or pasted in with your scores. Then go down. Another link that you're going to do is a Quizlet review and again when you get to it you're going to take a screenshot of your final score in the first round and paste that screenshot here. After you have applied what you have learned then you're going to reflect on your learning. This link is just going to take you to a website where you're going to type in a quick tip summarizing how to divide fractions. If you finish all of that of the HyperDoc, then you're going to end with these extensions. All four of these are games on dividing fractions. So you may play those games after you have finished all the other parts of your HyperDoc. Then once you finish all of the other sections and typed in all your answers, you've taken your screenshots of your scores, then you will turn this HyperDoc in through Google Classroom. You'll have to open up the assignment and there should be a turn in button. You should have time to finish this. However, if you do not finish this today, then we will take about five to ten minutes on Monday for you to finish your HyperDoc. But you should get through the majority of this. If you finish all of that, the Corbite, you've turned in your fraction finder from math workshop from yesterday and you have finished everything in the hyperdoc including the four games then if you'll look at the front board you'll see what the early finishers are going to do if you finish all of that work early and you've turned in everything then you're going to end with IXL fifth grade not sixth grade fifth grade and you're looking for the lesson K.6, Convert Improper Fractions to Mixed Numbers. You will not need your earbuds for IXL. So once you finish your HyperDoc, you may go ahead and put your earbuds away. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, you are not allowed to listen to music today during class. You don't have time to listen to music because you've got this entire HyperDoc to complete. I'm hoping that I have not forgotten to tell you. I hope there's nothing that I forgot to tell you. Um, just make sure that you take a screenshot and paste it in. I've given you a picture to look at of how to, to take a screenshot. Okay, I expect you to be on your best behavior. Have a great Friday and a good weekend, and I will see you on Monday.